Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy this exponential equation. To solve this equation, we are going to start by expressing all the numbers in terms of their prime factors. Now, of course, we know that 4 is equal to 2 squared. So this is going to be 2 squared to the power x. 5 already is a prime number. So we have multiplied by 5 to the power 4x plus 3. And then we know that 10 is equal to 5 times 2. So on the right hand side, we have 2 times 5 to the power 2x plus 3. Now the next thing we are going to do is to open all the brackets. And you know that in situations like this, what we do is to simply multiply the two powers. So here we have 2 to the power 2 times x, which is 2x. Here we have 5 to the power 4x plus 3. And here also we have 2 to the power 2x plus 3 multiplied by 5 to the power 2x plus 3. Now you can see that we have two bases. We have base 2 and we have base 5. So let us collect the bases together. What we are going to do is that we are going to divide both sides of this equation by 2 to the power 2x. And 5 to the power 2x plus 3. Now you can see that on the left hand side, this is going to take care of this, leaving us with 5 to the power 4x plus 3 over 5 to the power 2x plus 3. And on the right hand side, this is going to take care of that, leaving us with 2 to the power 2x plus 3 divided by 2 to the power 2x. Now, to further simplify this equation, we must remember that a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. So, this left hand side is equal to 5 to the power 4x plus 3 minus 2x plus 3. And this right hand side is equal to 2 to the power 2x plus 3 minus 2x. Now let us simplify the exponents. On the left hand side we have 4x plus 3 minus 2x minus 3. And on the right hand side we have 2x plus 3 minus 2x. 4x minus 2x is equal to 2x. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Here, 2x minus 2x is equal to 0, and we are left with 3. So this is 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8. Of course, you know that this is the same as 5 squared to the power x, and this is equal to 8. 5 squared is equal to 25. So this is 25 to the power x is equal to 8. So now you can see that this equation has been reduced to this. And of course, you know that the next step to solving this equation is to take log of both sides. So we have that log 25 to power x is equal to log 8. Of course, you know that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10. Applying the power law 
to the left hand side of this equation we can bring down this power that is x to become a multiplier when we do that the left hand side becomes x times log 25 is equal to log 8 and of course dividing both sides of this equation by log 25 we have that x is equal to log 8 over log 25. So this is the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation. Now you can leave your answer in this form or applying the change of base formula to this. We can write this as log to base 25 of it. So this is the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation. And now to check for the correctness of our answer, we are going to substitute log to base 25 of 8 for x into the original equation. On the left hand side, we have 4 to the power log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 5 to the power 4 times log to base 25 of 8 plus 3. Let us look at this. And then let us remember that when we have a to the power m plus n, such like we have here, this is equal to a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n. So this can be written as 5 to the power 4 times log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 5 to the power 3. And of course, here we still have 4 to the power log to base 25 of 8. But then let us remember that this can be written as 5 to the power 4 to the power log to base 25 of 8. Here, we still have 125 and here we still have 4 to the power log to base 25 of 8. 5 to the power 4 is equal to 625. So this line becomes 4 to the power log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 625 to the power log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 125. Now you can see that these two numbers have the same exponent that is log to base 25 of 8. So we can combine the two of them. When we do that, we have 4 times 6, 2, 5 to the power log to base 25 of 8. And then we still have 125. 4 times 625 is 2. 1500 and of course this is raised to power log to base 25 of 8 and we have 125 but then 2500 is equal to 25 multiplied by 100 we still have log to base 25 of 8 and we still have 125 now opening this bracket we have 25 to power log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 100 to power log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 125. Now look at this. We have 25 to the power log to base 25 of 8. Of course, you remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b so this is equal to 8 multiplied by 100 to the power log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 125 when we multiply 8 and 125 we get 1000 so this is going to be equal to 1000 multiplied by 100 to the power log to base 25 of 8 
and of course 1000 is 10 raised to the power 3 100 is 10 raised to the power 2 and we have log to base 25 of 8 combining these two because here we have 10 and here we have 10 what we have is 10 to the power 2 times this that is 2 times log to base 25 of 8 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 when we go back to this this is equal to 10 to the power 2 times log to base 25 of 8 plus 3 and now when we substitute this value for x into the right hand side of this equation what we have is 10 to the power 2 times log to base 25 of 8 plus 3. Now compare the left hand side to the right hand side. We have 10 to the power 2 times log to base 25 of 8 plus 3. And here we have 10 to the power 2 times log to base 25 of 8 plus 3. So you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.